In this lecture, we'll talk about marketing mix. The second step in developing a market strategy after market segmentation, determining who you're going to try to address with your marketing strategy, is to create and maintain a satisfying marketing mix. The marketing mix refers to the four marketing activities, product, price, distribution, and promotion. Sometimes they use pr place for distribution and call it the four P's, but it's the four activities that a firm must control to achieve specific goals within a dynamic marketing strategy are product, price, distribution of the product, and promotion of the product. The buyer, of the, uh, the buyer or the target market is the central focus of the marketing activities and those activities, that is product, price, distribution, and promotion have to be tailored to that specific market segment. As you can see from this slide, the marketing environment consists of an exchange with the customer that's based on the customer needs. It consists of the product, that you're going to be giving or trying to exchange the price or the exchange value of that product promotion to provide information about the product and awareness and distribution of that good service or idea to the place where the customer could take ownership of it. We'll examine each of these in turn in the next few slides. A product, whether it's a good, a service, an idea, or some combination thereof, is a complex mix of tangible and intangible attributes that provide to your customer segment satisfaction and benefits. A good is a physical entity that you can touch. A Porsche, for example, a Hewlett Packard printer, a kitten that's available for adoption, an animal shelter are all example of goods. A service is the application of human or mechanical efforts to people or objects to provide intangible benefits to, cons to customers. Air travel, dry cleaning, haircuts, banking, insurance, medical care, daycare, these are services. Ideas are concepts, philosophies, images, or issues. For example, an attorney for a fee advises you about your rights, the rights that one has against the IRS in a tax case, for example, if the IRS decides to audit your return. Other marketing of ideas include political parties, churches, and schools. So that's the notion of the product that's being sold, product, service, ideas. Almost all of these things, almost anything, can be assessed by a price. This is the value that's placed on an object when it's exchanged between a buyer and a seller. Although the seller usually establishes the price, it may be negotiated between the buyer and the seller. The buyer usually exchanges person, purchasing power, that is income, credit, wealth, for example, for the satisfaction of or some utility that's associated with the product. Marketers view the price as much more than a way of assessing value. However, it is the key element of the marketing mix because it relates to directly to the generation of revenue and therefore profits within the firm. Prices can also be changed quickly to stimulate demand, as you lower the price to stimulate demand, or to respond to competitive actions. So price is, a, is the second element of the uh, marketing mix. Distribution sometimes refers to, to refer to as place, as I mentioned before, making it the four P's, is the making of the products, making them available to the customers in the quantity desire, desired where the customers are located or able to get to take ownership of them. Intermediates, intermediaries, usually wholesalers and retailers, perform many of the activities required to move products efficiently from producers to consumers or to industrial buyers. These activities involve transporting, warehousing, uh, materials handling, inventory control, as well as some aspects of packaging and communication. This is the part where the product is actually put in the hands of the customer in exchange for the value, the distribution of the product. And finally, we have promotion. Promotion is the persuasive form of communication that attempts to expedite the marketing exchange 
by influencing individuals, groups, or organizations to accept goods, services, or ideas. Promotion includes advertising, personal selling, publicity, sales promotion, etc. The aim of promotion is to communicate directly or indirectly with individuals, groups, or organizations to facilitate exchanges. Most major com companies have set up websites on the internet to promote themselves and their products. While traditional advertising media such as television, radio, and magazines remain important, digital media, digital advertising on websites, social media, and other sites is growing as an influencer of buying decisions. Not only can digital advertising be less expensive, in addition, social media sites offer advertising opportunities for both large and small companies that weren't available before. Firms can create a Facebook page to post corporate updates for free to appeal to smaller businesses. Facebook, Facebook has begun offering deals such as certain amounts of free advertising credits. The promotion is changing rapidly in the face of the social media, socially connected or uh, media uh, technology connected, uh, tech, tech savvy generation as they call it. Just one more concept on this marketing mix idea is this thing, this notion of expeditionary marketing. That's a strategy that both small and large companies can use to find untapped markets. In, this, in the case of a startup, the goal is to find an emerging market where there wasn't one before, and so therefore there's, there's little competition. You design a, part, a product for that new market, and you establish yourself that way as a leader in that market, and then defend your market share. For more established businesses, both large and small, the goal of expeditionary marketing is to find new areas for growth in markets that are small but growing quickly. Internal and external research is done to find markets that are complementary to the skills and capabilities of the company already so that you can enter the market with a, some competitive advantage, having already have certain capabilities. And so you want to match those complementary skills and capabilities to the needs of this new market. It's an extension. Uh, so there is a, it's an extension of your current business and therefore there's a considerable amount of planning within organizations to find these new products and services. Try to find new markets to develop and to place new products into the business. All of this requires a great deal of marketing research, which we'll talk about in the next lecture.